would be losing a war. If we lost, if we lost the dollar as, a, as the world currency, I think that would be the equivalent of losing a war. China's yuan is about to change the game for global finance, and I'm going to break down why this shift matters more than you think. The significance of the yuan surpassing the US dollar can't be overstated. It's a major financial shift that has the potential to reshape the global economy. For decades, the US dollar has been the go-to currency for international trade, but with China's growing economic influence, the yuan is starting to gain traction. This development is not just about China's economic prowess, it also marks a significant challenge to the US economy's dominance. The rise of the yuan has been a long time coming. China has been working tirelessly to increase its economic influence globally, and this move is a clear indication of its intentions. The consequences of this shift will be far-reaching, and it's essential to understand the implications for investors, policymakers, and everyday people. Have you noticed how the dollar seems to be losing its power lately? It's a scary thought, but many people aren't even aware of the potential shifts happening in the global economy right now. Let's dive in and explore what's going on. Today we're going to talk about a historic event that's going to change the way we think about money. The Chinese yuan has officially surpassed the US dollar as the most widely held currency in international reserves. This is massive news, and it has huge implications for economies around the world. We're not just talking about a symbolic shift here. This is a real, tangible change that's going to affect the way we trade, the way we invest, and the way we think about the value of our money. The US dollar has been the dominant currency for decades, but that's changing fast, and if you're not paying attention, you might get left behind. The rise of the yuan is not just a random event. It's the result of decades of careful planning and strategic movement by the Chinese government. The rise of China is absolutely crucial now. It is the second economy in the world. It's roughly two-thirds the size of the United States economy and gaining fast. It has been growing faster than the United States for the last 25 years, two to three times faster every year. That's why it is as big as it is now, and that's why most predictions have it be a bigger economy at the end of this decade than the United States. And what that means is that all over the world, citizens who are planning to do all kinds of growth and expansion and trade now need to have yuan in their wallets, yuan in their bank accounts, because more and more countries are saying, we want to be paid in that currency because we do more business with China than we do with the United States. And therefore, at the very least, we want to reduce the old use of the dollar, which was virtually total. And now maybe 50-50 dollar, you want, you, they're adjusting. Banks are doing the same with their reserves. Countries are doing the same with what the reserve is to back up their currency. People will have confidence in their currency, not now only because they also have dollars, but because they also have yuan. And with the prospect of the yuan becoming a bigger factor, connected to the biggest economy in the world, within a few years, the pressure is on. They've been working tirelessly to increase their economic influence around the world, and it's paying off. The yuan's surge to the top is a testament to China's growing power and influence. So what does this mean for the US dollar? Well, for starters, it means that the dollar is no longer the only game in town. Investors and traders are looking for alternatives, and the yuan is quickly becoming the currency of choice. This is going to put a lot of pressure on the US dollar, and it's going to force changes in the way we think about international trade and finance. Let's take a closer look at the challenges facing the US dollar. One of the biggest problems is inflation. As the cost of living keeps going up, the value of the dollar keeps going down. This is especially true when you compare it to other currencies like the yuan, which has a much lower inflation rate. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like, share our videos. Let's continue. Another major issue is debt. The United States has a massive debt problem, and it's only getting worse. The national debt is over $28 trillion and counting, and it's weakening the dollar's position on the global stage. Meanwhile, China has a much more stable financial situation, which is giving the yuan a major boost. Then there's the issue of emerging alternatives. The yuan is not the only currency that's gaining popularity. 
Currencies like the euro, the yen and even cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are all becoming more mainstream. This is creating a much more diverse and competitive global financial landscape and the US dollar is struggling to keep up. As the US dollar faces these challenges, the yuan is quietly gaining ground. China's economic strategies have been focused on creating a strong, stable economy that's attractive to investors and traders. They've been working hard to increase their trade partnerships and expand their influence around the world. One of the key factors in the yuan's rise is China's Belt and Road Initiative. This is a massive infrastructure project that's designed to connect China with the rest of the world. It's a huge investment, and it's paying off big time. The initiative has already attracted trillions of dollars in investment, and it's creating a vast network of trade routes and partnerships that are helping to boost the yuan's value. Meanwhile, the Chinese government has been carefully managing its economy to keep inflation low and growth high. This has made the yuan a very attractive currency for investors who are looking for a stable store of value. And as the yuan's value has increased, so has its influence on the global financial stage. Another major factor in the yuan's rise is China's increasing influence in global trade. China is already the world's largest trading nation, and it's only getting bigger. They've been working hard to increase their trade partnerships and expand their reach into new markets. As the yuan's value has increased, so has its use in international trade. More and more countries are using the yuan to settle their trade deals and it's becoming a major player in global finance. This is giving China a much stronger voice on the global stage and it's allowing them to shape the direction of the global economy. In the past, the US dollar has been the currency of choice for international trade. But that's changing fast. The yuan is becoming a major alternative and it's gaining ground fast. This is a major shift and it has huge implications for the future of the global economy. The rise of the yuan has been a long time coming. China has been working towards this goal for decades and it's finally paying off. The yuan's surge to the top is a testament to China's growing power and influence and it's going to change the way we think about money and trade. So when did the yuan officially surpass the US dollar? Well, it happened recently and it was a major milestone. The International Monetary Fund announced that the yuan had become the most widely held currency in international reserves, surpassing the US dollar for the first time ever. The reactions from global markets and financial institutions have been mixed. Some people are celebrating the yuan's rise, while others are worried about the implications for the US dollar. But one thing is clear this is a major shift, and it's going to have a huge impact on the global economy. In response to the yuan's rise, many central banks and financial institutions are taking action. They're diversifying their currency holdings, and they're looking for ways to reduce their dependence on the US dollar. This is going to create a much more complex and diverse global financial landscape, and it's going to require some big changes. So what does this mean for the future of the US dollar? Well, it's hard to say. The US dollar is still a major player, but it's losing ground fast. The yuan is the new kid on the block, and it's shaking things up. As we look to the future, one thing is clear the global economy is changing fast. The rise of the yuan is just one part of a much bigger trend. We're seeing a shift towards a more diverse and complex global financial landscape, and it's going to require some big changes. The yuan has officially surpassed the US dollar as the most widely held currency in international reserves. This is a major shift, and it has huge implications for the global economy. The rise of the yuan is the result of decades of careful planning and strategic movement by the Chinese government. In this video, we're going to delve into the context of this financial shift, exploring the key players involved, the timeline of events, and the initial reactions from market analysts. We'll examine the early indicators of the yuan's rise, discuss the challenges it faces, and highlight the pivotal moments that led to its ascendance. So, buckle up and let's dive in. The context of this financial shift is crucial to understanding its significance. China's yuan has been gradually gaining acceptance as a global reserve currency. The International Monetary Fund added the yuan to its special drawing rights basket in 2016. Over to you to report. Madame Lagarde, thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. Today, November 30th, uh, the IMF's executive board decided that the renminbi qualified for the SDR basket under existing criteria. Pakistan, the pieces have been falling into place. The initial reactions from market analysts have been mixed, with some predicting a significant shift in global economic power dynamics and others expressing skepticism about the yuan's ability to surpass the US dollar. 
The key players involved in this financial shift are critical to understanding its implications. China's government has been instrumental in promoting the yuan as a global currency, while the IMF has played a crucial role in legitimizing its status. Other countries like Russia and Iran have also been working together to create an alternative to the US dollar-dominated global financial system. As we examine the early indicators of the yuan's rise, it's clear that trade agreements have played a significant role. China's negotiations with countries like Argentina and Brazil have led to the signing of several bilateral agreements that promote the use of local currencies in international trade. This shift away from the US dollar marks a significant change in the global economic landscape. International adoption has also been a key factor in the yuan's rise. Countries like Nigeria and Pakistan have started to hold yuan-denominated reserves, reducing their dependence on the US dollar. This trend is likely to continue as more countries seek to diversify their foreign exchange reserves and reduce their exposure to US economic shocks. The reactions from investors and economists have been varied, with some predicting a major shift in global economic power dynamics and others expressing caution about the yuan's ability to surpass the US dollar. However, one thing is clear the yuan's rise marks a significant challenge to the US dollar's dominance. Despite the yuan's rise, there are still significant challenges that it faces. Skepticism from Western nations about the yuan's ability to supplant the US dollar is widespread. Accusations of currency manipulation have also dogged the yuan's progress, with some arguing that China's government has artificially depressed the value of its currency to gain an unfair trade advantage. China's economic hurdles also pose a significant threat to the yuan's continued rise. The country's ongoing trade war with the United States has led to a slowdown in economic growth, and some analysts have raised concerns about the sustainability of China's economic model. However, despite these challenges, the yuan's early indicators suggest that it's gaining traction. The People's Bank of China has taken steps to increase the yuan's convertibility, making it easier for foreigners to invest in Chinese assets. This move has been instrumental in promoting the yuan as a global currency. The pivotal moments that led to the yuan's ascendance are fascinating. The signing of the China-Russia currency swap agreement in 2014 marked a significant milestone in the yuan's journey. This agreement allowed the two countries to bypass the US dollar and conduct bilateral trade in their local currencies. The launch of the Chinese-led Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank in 2015 was another pivotal moment. This initiative brought together 57 member countries and marked a significant shift away from the US-dominated Bretton Woods system. The implementation of the Shanghai Hong Kong Stock Connect program in 2014 was also crucial, allowing foreign investors to invest in Chinese stocks directly. This move increased the yuan's visibility and promoted its use as a global currency. The implications of the yuan's rise are far-reaching and complex. In the short term, it's likely to lead to increased volatility in global currency markets. In the long term, it could mark a significant shift in global economic power dynamics, with the yuan emerging as a major competitor to the US dollar. The potential long-term effects on international trade and finance are significant. A multipolar currency system, where the yuan and US dollar coexist as major reserve currencies, could lead to greater stability and diversity in the global financial system. However, there are also concerns about the potential risks associated with the yuan's rise. A decline in the US dollar's value could lead to inflation and higher interest rates, which could have significant implications for investors and policymakers. In conclusion, the yuan's rise marks a significant shift in the global economy with far-reaching implications for investors, policymakers and everyday people. As we move forward, it's essential to stay informed and adapt to the changing landscape. So what do you think about the yuan's rise? Do you think it's a game-changer for global finance or just a blip on the radar? Share your opinions in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful financial content. Thanks for watching.